All right. Got another meal. Let's go. Dude, do you always use a microwave? Yeah, because I, I prep my food, so like, you know, I just use the microwave right before. I don't want to eat it cold, you know, so I just microwave it. Why? Man, what? Everybody knows. Haven't you seen that documentary where they like microwaved a plant and the water boiled and it like died and shit? Come on, man. Like that shit's so bad for you, it's toxic. Jesus. Oh, well, cheers, bud. I guess I'll take my chances. I mean, everybody's got one. There's gotta be a reason they haven't been banned or something. Guess I'll take my chances on this one. All right, bro, it's your life. Anyway, what are you uh, what are you up to today? I'm gonna get smashed tonight with some of the boys. You down? I'm kind of hungry right now too. Let's go grab some Mickey D's, bro. Come on, why are you warming that up? Let's go grab some Mickey D's. Come on. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy John Mango. I'm here, of course. Representing Beyond the Iron, we're looking to take your fitness, your nutrition further so you may change your life forever. Now, if this is your first time stopping by on the channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I just want to explain that, you know, this channel is all about fitness and nutrition. Lots of fat loss, muscle gain, hitting the body of your dreams. And uh, we like to do workout videos, tips, tricks, strategies, meal plans. That's a big one. And we also cover topics such as this, okay? So if you're new to the channel and you feel like any of that could help you out or is what you're looking for, then hey, consider subscribing. That being said, I know this isn't necessarily directly related to muscle gain or fat loss or uh, that fitness side of thing, but obviously this is a topic that's concerning health. And I'm gonna be honest, the reason I'm making this video is because if you follow my Instagram, which if you don't, it's gonna be right here on the screen. I want you to go ahead and follow. I like to post a lot of stories on my Instagram and you know, I've been getting the haters coming out for a little while talking about microwaves, all right? So I used to always post how I was microwaving and I always talk about health, fitness, fat loss, healthy foods, all that kind of stuff, all right? And I always got hit with somebody or multiple people, always multiple people telling me that, wow, you preach health and you're using a microwave. How could you? And it really got me thinking, wait a second, Microwaves have never been proven to be bad and I was surprised that people were actually under this impression. I thought that was a little kind of myth, a little buzz that happened for like two months of time ago. But it turns out that a relatively large amount of the population believe this to be true. So you know what? I did some digging. I did some research. I said, all right, all right. Before I, before I bounce back at the haters, all right, I'm gonna make sure that I know what I'm talking about first because I don't make any videos and I don't make any claims unless I know what I'm talking about. But you know, if I do, then of course I'll just be like, look, I messed up. I mean, it is what it is. But I always try not to put myself in that situation. The point of this is that this video is made for clarifying to anybody in the future that wants to come to me or maybe you and tell you that microwaves are no good for you. The purpose of that skit in the beginning is also gonna be the second part of this video where we're gonna go into putting the cart before the horse or in other words, worrying about details that just don't matter in the grand scheme of things. People got their priority backwards, man. So that being said, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into are microwaves unhealthy for you? All right, so the funny thing is, is if you go online, it's actually kind of difficult to find latest research on this specific topic. Now, you can find stuff like harvard.com. Uh, now, I don't know how credible that is because I don't see sources cited. Obviously, it's got the Harvard name attached to it, but you don't wanna jump to conclusions with websites like that. So, there's websites also that are just populating the internet that tell you how bad microwaves are for you. However, when you dive in a little bit closer, something funny happens. So for example, there's this one site that talks about all basically the myths that microwaving is built around. Stuff like, you know, it releases toxins in your food. It removes the nutrients in your food. Uh, it, it causes radiation. All these kinds of claims that have kind of surrounded microwaves for a little while now and again this is what people believe it's time for me to hit back all right so it's funny because i'll give you an example of one of these sites it was called medical daily i believe if i'm right i'm gonna put a little screenshot of it up on the screen for you medical daily you're a joke all right so you know you kind of start doing some digging and it references doctor so and so a you know a nutritionist and this that whatever said this and that and then they link study the funny part is is i don't think people actually go into the studies because i looked at one of the studies published by one of these doctors 
and they never actually directly said microwaves are causing anything bad with the food as opposed to they were really just looking at if radiation of a microwave actually can cause harmful effects from being around a microwave when it's heating up your food. So, you know, you always have to look at the context of studies, but always try to get your sources of information from Google Scholar. This is where you're gonna find the peer-reviewed actual scientific literature. Again, peer-reviewed means that it is a legitimate established article that is respected and credible through science. However, again, you gotta keep in mind context because some of these studies are not taking into consideration certain variables that could actually skew the result. Now, check it out. Any of the studies that I did find, and again, I did some digging. If you find studies yourself, I urge you to comment them below and uh, shoot me to where you found it. But the studies that I found, I'm gonna go ahead and put at the bottom of the description as I usually do when talking about sensitive topics like this. I'm gonna put those studies in there and these studies just strictly show and they have been done over the last couple of decades but they will show that there is no direct or significant enough effect on food and or people around a microwave uh, from that method of cooking that it's actually gonna harm you. Okay, now this kind of logically makes sense because if microwaves were truly a direct cause of cancer or an indirect cause of cancer through you know microwaving foods, they wouldn't be one of the most common appliances in all households in America, North America, you know, basically anywhere where it's a first world, even, even a third world country has microwaves all over the place, man. So, you know, that being said, that alone should show you that obviously it's not, it can't be that bad when in comparison to something like your phone, your phone also emits radiation, but people just seem to skip past that part for some reason. So I wanna quickly explain uh, something interesting that I found when doing my digging and my research, and it turns out that uh, there's a plenty of arguments for microwaving being one of the actual, potentially healthier forms of cooking, and the reason for this is because nutrients in a food do get broken down when exposed to heat. However, it's usually being exposed to heat for a longer period of time increases the chances uh, of certain and increases the vast majority. It's gonna increase the chance of certain nutrients being broken down. I believe one of the examples was vitamin C. Uh, and, and the funny part is, is that when you microwave a food, this is actually one of the quickest methods of cooking, meaning the food is exposed to heat for a shorter amount of time than if you were to bake or boil or fry it, right? So because of this, the argument was then presented that this may actually be a healthier method of cooking. And again, the only way that this be presented as a possibility is because it's obviously been accepted that there's no possibility of it being worse because they'd have to negate that possibility before they move towards the other end of things. Now, I hope that makes sense, guys. Something to keep in mind is that radiation is not necessarily a bad term, and this might be blowing some of your minds. Like, what do you mean? Radiation's terrible. But it's not the case. People don't even realize that, for example, fruits and bananas emit radiation. Now, I know people would think that it's because they're unnaturally grown or whatever the case may be. That's not necessarily the case, but also, uh, radiation is just simply a side effect of living life. Like, newsflash for you guys, living life is dangerous. Living life causes cancer. And now this is gonna kinda transfer into the rant that I wanted to go into about people's priorities not being straight. So you saw at the beginning of the video, you know, the guy was drinking beer and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna go get smashed, I want some Mickey D's, but bro, those things don't directly cause cancer like microwaves do, right? Like, buds, are you kidding me? And so the reason I did that was because I find that most people actually have their priorities that wrong to the point where they will literally go out and get, you know, drunk, uh, intoxicated, directly intoxicated by a toxin to the body when consumed in certain amounts and yet they're afraid of microwaving their food. When in reality, for example, somebody like myself who microwaves their food every single day, those foods are prepped, they're healthy, quote unquote, healthy foods. And believe it or not, that method, if you combine my prep and then my microwaving, allows me to stay on track with my diet, which ultimately allows me to have gains, meaning a better body composition, which is much more significant of a subject than microwaving. So for example, if you don't microwave your food, but you're eating garbage or you're getting drunk, 
you're doing much more harm and damage to your body than you would be if you actually prepped, structured your nutrition, worked out all the time, did cardio, drank lots of water, slept, and then you added a little microwaving in the middle of that. I mean, people just don't get the bigger picture. They got their priorities backwards. They always put the cart before the horse. It's the same thing as people that they want to start working out. What supplements should I buy? This is, should be an afterthought. The microwaving should be an afterthought. Before you consider, well, I can't do that because of another excuse being, I can't use a microwave. I don't want to use a microwave. Fine. You can find a way around using a microwave, but don't let things like that, people allow things like that to get in the way, cause another block as to, ah, oh, that's why it's so inconvenient for me to meal prep. That's not the case, man. And again, the bigger picture, the umbrella here is the fact that you wanna structure your diet, you wanna structure your nutrition, you wanna train, you wanna work out, you wanna stay consistent. If that means using a microwave, which might damage you even that slightly, as research has not even found, but let's say the research is wrong and it even damages you just that much, that is nothing, it pales in comparison to the damage you're doing on a daily basis to yourself anyways. Now sure, if the research were to show that microwaving isn't that good and it does do that small percentage of damage to you, fine. Get the structure down, get the bigger picture down first because ultimately that's what's gonna lengthen or shorten your life potentially directly and then from there you can look into little details like hey, I don't wanna microwave my food anymore, I'm gonna do it this way because now I have the habit of actually structuring it and sticking to it. Guys, I'm sorry for the long rant and I hope this is making sense. The whole point here is for all you haters out there or not haters but just people that you know, put the cart before the horse. Stop worrying about little details like microwaving your food. It is not unhealthy. It has never been shown to be unhealthy. You saw a documentary one time and that documentary was taken out of context, just like everything else is and it was dropped into a crowd and they started preaching and they started making blogs and they wanted attention and next thing you know microwaves have been alienated or you know there's a, there's a huge problem with microwaves people are literally convinced that microwaves will kill them that is sad because those same people will go out and buy a burger from McDonald's later but hey it wasn't microwaved so I'll be okay I hope this kind of makes sense guys um, I know it's just a talking video. I hope that maybe you found it a little interesting my viewpoints and basically You know just covering the topic that surrounds this kind of pointless subject to be honest I mean if you want to see my viewpoint like this elsewhere when it comes to actual food again a much more significant Thing to be aware about you can go ahead and click here I made a video uh, that is talking about you know the fact that there is no unhealthy foods now if you hate me then you can comment below this video, you can also go to that video and you're going to hate me even more because this is my view and this is what I know happens to be true, this is based off science. I mean, you know, there's a little bit of belief injected, maybe, sure, but at the end of the day, the belief comes from years of experience, years of training, years of helping people change their lives and get them healthier. So that being said, I didn't really go off a script today, I kind of just spoke from the heart and uh, let me know what you guys think about this style of video and if there's any other topics you'd like me to cover I'd totally be down to make more of these types of rant videos so that being said all I want you to do is comment below let me know what you think if you liked it if you didn't like it if you did like it what other topics you want me to cover so I can silence the haters for you and again as always thank you so much for watching I appreciate all the support constantly come to this channel we're definitely growing and I want to bring more content on a weekly basis for you guys. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know anything, man. Like you guys are my viewers. You guys are my audience. I do this for you and I do this to help people around the world. So anything else you'd like to see, please comment below or message me yet and I'll do my best to, you know, pump up that content as quickly as possible and prioritize it for you. Again, this is John Mango. I'm representing Beyond the Iron. We're looking to take your fitness and your nutrition further so you may change your life forever. That all depends on whether or not you're willing to actually care so much about microwaves. Just do the damn work and figure it out later. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you in that next one. I'm out.